So what are my potential trades for next week? So I'm going to focus on earning trades. And if I look at, if I use Finway's market cap over 10 billion. So if I look at next week earnings and then maybe sort by market cap. So potentially I could play something on Nike, Accenture, Costco, and maybe AutoZone and CarMax. So I've got potentially one, two, three, four, five. So potentially I would do five put spreads out of the money put credit spreads on these positions before the close and then close it at the open. So what that would look like, for example, let's take Costco. So if I go with Costco, what I would do is I would look at the expected move and to get the expected move, I would look at the straddle for September 25th. For Costco, the at the money straddle is 335 and it's trading for about 15, 16 dollars. So the expected move is about 16 dollars. So I would go about 16 dollars lower. So just to round it up, I'll, I'll go 15 points lower with a with a vertical put spread or a put credit spread. So basically, my short strike will be 320. So 320 would be my short strike, and my long strike would be th five points lower, so 315. So that's a spread of five dollars, and you could see that I could collect about 82, 83 cents. And usually, I'll only do a, an out of the money put credit spread if I can collect 80 cents. And he, as you could see, I could do that. With Costco so Costco potentially would be a put credit spread that I'll do but I'm gonna wait till earnings because I don't want to be impacted by the general market before we get to earnings so I'm gonna wait last minute before earnings maybe 30 minutes before the close and I'll put this this sort of trade on and if we look at Accenture same thing I'll see if there's enough uh, premiums ACN uh, look at the shadow value for September 25th it's about 235 so about 12 points so 12 points would be about 224, yeah, 224. So let's say 225, I don't think there's a 224. So 225 for next week, there we go, with a 220 long put. So that gives me, see right now it's not giving me 80 cents. Maybe next week might give me 80 cents, but for the moment it's giving me about 75 cents. So it's very close. So if it doesn't give me 80 cents, I might not play it. I, I wanna get at least uh, 80 cents and you know what something I like to look at is earning stats just to see how this stock performed in the past so you can see that out of 70 earnings it went up 59% of the time so I've got a slight edge 59% of the time it goes up after earnings so that's good if you look at the table at the bottom here you can see that there's more green than red it has gone up more times it ha it has some major reds though when it does drop it drops hard so the gray zone is the expected move and the the candles basically is how much it actually moved after earnings. So I want it to stay within the gray zone. If it stays within the gray zone, then my put spread is a winner. So all the ones that are in the gray zone are would suggest that my put spreads are winners. So the last earnings, it went up. So my out of the money put credit spread would have been a winner. This would have been a winner. This one, it dropped, but look how far it is from expected move so it dropped maybe let's say a third of expected move so i probably would have been able to close it for a small profit or break even so these ones here would have been closed for a profit this one's a profit this one's a profit this one here for sure would be a loss maybe a small loss and it depends also how i manage it maybe i'll keep it sell a call spread against it and then sell another out of the money put credit spread lower so really who knows how a tested put spread i'll manage at that given time but you could see that there's a slight edge that there's an advantage that an out of the money put credit spread would win. So maybe I'll, I'll do something on ACN as well. So the other earning trade would be Nike and AutoZone for sure. I think AutoZone for sure I'll do. CarMax, let's look at CarMax. I don't think there's much premiums on CarMax to do an out of the money put credit spread. It's not looking it up. CarMax KMX. So it's trading at 102 right now. The straddle is, um, oh, that's for this week. So September 25th, the straddle is trading for about $8, $7. Actually, the 103 is trading for about $8. So 103 minus 8 is 95, right? Yeah, so vertical put at 95. Let's see if that gives me enough premiums. I like to collect at least 80 cents at a, on a five-point wide spread. So 95, 90. Yeah, that's terrible. That's not 80 cents. But an, a, a way around that is I could do a one point spread and do it five and do five contracts. And no, not even. All right. So CarMax, most likely I'm not going to do anything on CarMax. Premiums are not good enough. So 
maybe Nike, Accenture, Costco, and AutoZone. So it's probably going to end up being four put credit spreads, four earning trades next week. And another thing I want to do if I look at high volatility, you can see that Tesla has high volatility because of battery day. And in fact, indeed, the volatility is super high. I'm most likely going to sell a put credit spread, an out of the money put credit spread on Tesla, either right before the close on Tuesday, because that's battery. The event is after the close on Tuesday, or I could do it right now. We're Friday today, September 18. I've got 40 minutes to go till the close. I've got 40 minutes to go till the close. And I actually have an order on Tesla. I go to my orders you can see i've got a put credit spread at 350 345 because uh tesla was dropping I, I thought i'd try to get in at a at a better price it didn't get filled and tesla instead went back up so i could potentially do the trade today or i could do it tuesday uh, before the close i'm not sure yet but if i wanted to do it today basically do the same thing i look at the expected move on tesla and I think this by looking at the straddle at the money straddle, I think it was uh, 80 points almost. It's ridiculous. 80 point, almost 20 percent. All right. So 443 gives me 77 points. That's crazy. So if I go seven, I can go 77 points lower and do an out of the money put credit spread and collect something de decent. So 443 minus 77 is 366. So as you can see, I've got an order at 350. So that's why it's not getting it's not going to get filled. So if I do another order at 366 or maybe 365, just around. So 365, that's look how low I can go and still collect some decent credit. So 365, uh, five point wide would be 360 uh, for next week, of course. So September 25th, I can collect already between 80 and a dollar. I can collect maybe 90 cents by doing this trade. 365, 360. So that's, I just have to decide if I want to do it now or if I want to do it um, Tuesday before the event. So Tuesday before the event, right now the expected move 77, but I think as we get closer to Tuesday, it's going to drop a little bit. Maybe it's going to be 70 points. So it won't allow me to go as far as I can go right now. But at the same time, Tesla could drop between now and Tuesday. So that makes my existing put spread not as powerful. So because what's going to make this trade a winner or not is after the event occurs, then might as well just wait before, right before the event. So it's like an earnings trade, basically. So I'm not sure. I was going to do it. I had an, here we go, reconnecting again. I was going to do it um, today because I saw Tesla drop a lot towards uh, the afternoon. So I thought maybe I'd get a good entry, but it didn't get filled. So I'm going to, might I'm going to end up canceling this order. There's three minutes to go. I don't think it's going to get filled. I'm also thinking of an selling an 800 call on tesla so the 800 call was trading for about 50 cents a dollar 50 so if you look at the quote you could see the past day today it went all the the open the high was a dollar 53 open was 149 yesterday as well it reached i think a dollar 50 september 17 and actually september 16 two dollars so i was trying to get a dollar 50 for it it's trading for 71 cents right now so you can collect 70 cents by selling the 800 call so if you are certain that Tesla does not reach 800 by next Friday, even after the event, then these are calls that you could sell and collect free premiums, basically. Capital required for this trade, though, is about 4,400. So where do I see this? Basically, I just go to calls. I'll go to September uh, 25th and 444. I want to sell the 800 call as far as I can go. I don't think Tesla is going to almost double after the event. That would be ridiculous. Uh, so if I want to sell this 800 call, 72 cents, click sell. You can see the change in maintenance excess. That's the capital required. Right now, the capital required for this trade to be able to place this trade is 4,200. So that's also a potential trade I want to make, but I want to collect some decent premium. Right now, it's for 70 cents. I don't want to just collect 70 cents for that trade. So I'm going to, maybe I'll, I'll do it right before the event as well, or I have an order at $1.50. It's not going to get filled today for sure. So I might as well just cancel it. So yeah, so these are my potential trades for next week. So about four earning trades, doing an out of the money put credit spreads and a maybe a naked call on Tesla at 800 and a, definitely an out of the money put credit spread on uh, on Tesla as well.